Labor Day weekend is a summer send-off to summer, but Tropical Storm Hermine forcing many Americans to cancel their pool parties, beach trips. For those looking for new weekend plans, how about going to the movies? Joining me now is senior editor for In Touch Weekly, Kim Serafin. Kim, what's in movie and theaters this weekend? Is it the dregs or is it of the summer? Or do we expect some good flicks? Yeah, Labor Day, not usually a big weekend. It's usually the lowest grossing weekend of the year, and this weekend will probably be the same. Uh, there's a couple of new releases, The Light Between Oceans. This is a movie, it kind of has Oscar bait written on it. It's Alicia Vikander, stars in it with Michael Fassbender. It's kind of a weepy movie, uh, so get ready to cry if you're going to go see it. Uh, a, a couple finds a baby, they're childless, they decide to raise it as their own, but of course, uh, not all things are as they seem, and there's a big secret, but be prepared to cry if you go see this movie. And, and then Morgan also opens, which is a sci-fi thriller starring Kate Mara, um, kind of a, a human-like robot. And again, things go awry because things were not going as planned. So uh, these are the two big openings. And every, everybody looks forward to kind of moving into the fall and the holiday uh, box office. What are you looking at in terms of the big releases? I can't wait, I can't wait for Star Wars Rogue One, but there's some other big names coming out. Yeah, exactly. Rogue One, of course, that opens in December. So, but it's Star Wars, so we'll count it as a fall release because everyone <laughs> is waiting for this one. And starring uh, Felicity Jones, obviously, um, that she goes. She's a rebel fighter. She takes a team of people. They go to steal the Death Star, plans for the Death Star at Left Star at least. So that people are waiting for. But there's a lot of great movies in the fall, and the fall usually is when you get those Oscar movies opening and a lot of biopics as well. In September, you'll see two biopics. You'll see Sully, which of course is starring Tom Hanks, and this is the, based on Captain Sully. Schellenberger landing that jet in the Hudson, and that comes out in December, directed by Clint Eastwood. I think a lot of people are really excited to see this. Also, another biopic in September is Snowden, Edward Snowden, directed by Oliver Stone, and this is another movie. Again, a biopic. This is all right. the Oscar movies that you start seeing opening in, in the fall. I'll and then that, there's other movies I, like... I'll just say about Snowden, you could, I, you, they'd have to pay me to see that, and pay me like 100 bucks to see it. Really quickly, with Gene Wilder passing, What's happening in terms of honoring him and getting his movies out there? Yeah, this, if you're looking for a movie to see this weekend, this might be what you want to do. Check out the AMC theater website because they are playing some of his former movies in, in, on their theaters over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. You can go see Willy Wonka and you can go see Blazing Saddles. So check out the website. You'll find out where you can see it in cities all across the country. For $5, you can go see these movies that bring back so many memories to people. That is, that is awesome. Kim, thank you so much. Kim Serafin.